This is Indigo Phillips, my son. He's seven and a half. Also, it's Indigo Ray Phillips. And since he was a baby, he has toe walked. It's not something that he's grown out of, so we've decided to see a specialist, Dr. Jarman, and Dr. Jarman has recommended surgery because of the severity of the equinus. Yes, we're both very nervous, but it's a decision that I'm really confident in because I realize how severe the toe walking is and just the maybe physical limitations and then social impl Im implications it could have on him uh, later in regard to like bullying or teasing and stuff like that. Um, we just wanted to get ahead of things now if we can. Dr. Jarman was really great. He's got a ton of experience in this, so that made me feel better. And we actually found Dr. Jarman through my sister. My sister is a nursing student, and she was researching Aquinas and I think physicians here. And this is after I had already taken in to go to see a foot and ankle specialist, which we weren't super satisfied with, and that's why we sought out a second opinion. And so prior to doing so, so on Dr. Jarman's site, I saw some videos just like what we're doing here and it made me feel more comfortable in that the condition is actually very common and surgery for it is, you know, it's a big deal but it's, it's not a super big deal if that makes any sense. I'm just really happy to be able to see my son be able to walk normally, I hate to say normal. You know, since he was a baby, he's walked on tiptoes, so I don't know anything different. I don't know even how I'm gonna feel when I see him walking flat-footed, you know? So, it's been an experience, that's for sure. Indigo has been slowly recovering from surgery. He was out of a cast and into a walking boot and tra transitioned pretty good out of the walking boot. He's walking flat-footed on the one foot uh, that had the surgery, and on the left foot, he's still tiptoeing, so you can see a definite difference in how he's walking. Mm -hmm.